Tyler, talk about the work you guys have put in, you know, from December to now, and, and how do you feel like this offensive line's coming along? I mean, I feel like we're coming along great. Um, the guys before us, you know, they were pride on their athleticism and you know, just being so big, and, and we're smaller and less athletic than them, so we pride ourselves <laughs> on working hard. I mean, it's just how it is. So, we, I mean, we've came in, we've came in this offseason in such a mindset. I mean, all of us haven't gotten a chance to play yet. You know, this is our first year, so we take it with so much pride that it's our first year to come out here and do something. You, you kind of feel like that everybody's doubting that group, this group of offensive linemen. Is it kind of playing with a chip on your shoulder? Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely playing with a chip on your shoulder. I mean, me, Mac, and Marcus, when we got here, I mean, we became such a close-knit unit. You know, we, we've been playing together for three, four years. People don't realize that, even though it's on the practice field. We've been playing together for that long. So, I mean, we feel connected, and we feel like we can do a lot of work out on the field. I mean, people, I'd rather have it where people don't think we can do it. That way we can surprise them. What's the persona you think that your unit will, will present and have on Saturdays? What's the personality that you guys are going to take on? Hard workers and finishers. That's, that's what we want to be. I mean, Coach Jones says it all the time, 63, six seconds, three great efforts. That's what we want. We want for the offensive line to lead the whole offense. I mean, Coach says it to Matt Crowder all the time, gas pedal. He's the first one on the ball every time. That way we can get everybody else set. We're right behind them. The only way that we can be a good offense is if we're a good offensive line. How much faster do you expect the tempo to be with this year's offense? A lot faster. I mean, Coach Jones expects a lot because it's the second year. You know, first year, everybody's getting used to it. But these, we've been here a whole year together. We've been working together for a whole year. He know he has high expectations for us. So we're going as fast as possible every play. Have you seen the offense expand this spring? You know, just because the quarterbacks have a, another year under the belt. You know, most of you guys have another year under your belt under, under Coach Jones, Coach Pajaki. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, the quarterback battle right now is is it's crazy. All of them are competing off, competing their butts off. Like, and the wide receivers are doing the exact same thing. If some if Mark Ways North can make a catch, Josh Malone's going to make a catch. Then Josh Smith's going to make a catch. Then Vaughn Pearson's going to make a catch. They they don't let they don't let the other ones one up them. So all that competition just makes us a better unit, which is what which is what we want to put on the field. As far as the new guys go with, with Blair and Thomas, just what have you seen from them so far? They got the physical ability to do it. They just got to get their minds right. Their minds, they just have to know that they can beat those guys because they can. They're athletic. They're big. That's why we recruited them. They can do it. They just got to get their minds right. They got to know they can do it. And they got to learn the plays. Plays are most important. As soon as Coleman Thomas and Blair learn to Learn the plays, it's going to be over. Dominant. Kyler, you, you were obviously played a little bit over the last couple of years, stepping up. Uh, what's, it, what's it been like for you? It looks like you, you're running with the first group. How's that been? Oh, it's been very exciting. You know, I, I've been waiting. I've been waiting three years now because I got registered my first year. I've been waiting three years now to get on the field. And I mean, it was just a little taste last year with jumbo package and field goal and stuff like that. And uh, it just makes me excited playing against all those SEC teams last year. Makes me want to get out there and play a whole game against them. Does it seem like it's been a while since you were at Catholic playing every day on, on both sides of the ball? <laughs> yeah, it seems like a long time. I still I still talk about that a lot. About uh, you don't know tired until you play both ways. You know, when somebody has a turnover, you just stay on the field while everybody else runs off. Yeah. So, um, and I I, I kind of take that you know, uh, because I'm like I've I've been more tired than this. This isn't tired. I'm running five plays, six plays during practice. I'm not tired. I'm not winded. I'm fine. I've been way. This has been way worse than this. I, Co Coach Lawson is killing me in these workouts. There's nothing compared to what what we're doing out there. You know, I just I just work hard every day like that. Carly, so, you yeah. talked about kind of waiting your turn and not some of those guys. For you and Mac, how far can can that go in terms of you know you guys wanting to, you know be motivated to prove that, that you guys are just as good and there won't be any kind of a drop off? Yeah, I mean that's 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 what we've been looking for for three years now. You know. We we thought we were just as good as those guys, and I mean, if you don't have that mindset, then you can't really go out there and perform like you want to. And we come in and work hard and just try and be as good as we can be. Because I mean, we we don't want to lose a game and regret and say, you know what, we didn't work hard enough. We didn't condition ourselves enough. We didn't study the playbook enough. So that's what we're trying to prevent. And we work. I mean, we just go in and work every day. You were over there on the right side with with Coleman, and he's. You know, doesn't look like he's a should be a high school senior. You know, he's out there on the. <laughs> yeah. What, what have you seen from him? What's been your what was maybe your earliest impression of him when he got here? Uh, Cone's a Cone's a funny dude. I mean, I, I like him a lot. He's he's become my friend right away, and I feel like I mesh with him good. Um, he's right next to me. Uh, 
I just got to help him out with plays and stuff a little bit. But once he gets his plays down, once he knows on his own, it'll make him more confident. And it'll make him go out there and be able to dominate anybody in front of him because he can do that. He just has to know that he can do that. What about him makes you think he can come in right away and as, a, as a freshman and play in this league? His athletic ability. I mean, he's got the ability. That's, that's plain and simple. He's got the ability. He just needs to get his mind right. You well, talked about the, the chemistry you, Mac, and Marcus have. How do you think that will yeah. help you guys? Oh, it'll help us a lot. Yeah, I mean, me, Mac, and Marcus have been connected for so long, and it's like when one of us makes a play, the other two get even more jacked, even more excited for the next play. When when Mac, when I'm holding up a guy and Mac comes and hit him, it makes me excited. It makes me feel, you know what? I need to help out Mac's next play. I need to get a hit on the guy that he's holding up. So, I mean, it, it makes us push each other. You know, we've been pushing each other since we got here. And that's just like the class rivalry that we had. So, I mean, we're really connected. Have you been getting any work at other positions? Or are you focusing you know, just on right guard right now? Oh, no, yeah, I've been getting a lot of work at center. I mean, not, not uh, reps at practice, but before practice, we snapped with quarterbacks. During the winter and stuff, when we had workouts, I come in here and snap. I mean, I want to be able to play every position. That was one of my goals for the spring is know every position, right and left. Be able to play both both sides. So is, is tackle still a possibility then, or is it because kind of let you know they want you to you know stay at guard? I mean, Co- Coach Mo wants me at guard, but if it presents itself, tackle can be a possibility. I can always bump out there if needed. You feel like that? Alex- more than your initial impressions of Dontavious play? Oh, uh, Dontavious is he's a great guy. Um, he's he just got to get a little bit more condition. Um, he's been struggling with that through these practices, just his conditioning. But he's big. He's huge. He's a huge dude. He's very physical. So he can come out there and really help us as long as he gets his conditioning down and gets his mental um, awareness down.